Hi and welcome to a new Render People tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to quickly adjust the colors of your Render People models with a few clicks in 3ds Max. By changing the colors of your models in your 3D scene, you'll be able to create many different color styles of your Render People models. First, I have loaded a simple render scene in 3ds Max and V-Ray 3. The method of color changing I'm going to show you is not limited to V-Ray and will work with other renderers too. Here you see our free models Dennis and May. Both of them come with a V-Ray custom blend material setup, which include AK, Diffuse, Normal and Alpha Maps for every major surface of the model. For changing the color of the model, we will replace the default texture map with a composite map. For example, I will now change the color of May's shirt. First, I need a composite map with two layers. In the first layer, I place the diffuse map of the model, which is very important because this is the base image we would like to adjust. In the second layer slot, you put a color map. In this case, I'm using a V-Ray color map. This map will later define the color of the shirt. If you're working with other renderers, the native color map of 3ds Max will also work. Right now, it is very important that the color map is set to a neutral gray, which is the exact value of the 0.5 in the red, green and blue channel. Now that we have added the color map, it is important to define the region we want to adjust. To mask out the area we want to edit, simply copy the shirt mask out of the material setup and add it to the second layer mask slot. In the material preview, you can see that the color of the shirt was changed to gray. The only thing we need to do now is to change the blend mode. Depending on the result you want to achieve, you can use all different types of blend modes. For this test, I will use the overlay blend mode to slightly add a color to the shirt without destroying any detail. After setting the blend mode, you will see that the grayish look of the shirt is now gone. Now that our setup is ready, we need to relink our diffuse map of the model so we can see the results in the viewport and later in the render. To link the composite map to all needed submaterials, simply drag the composite output onto the existing linked diffuse map. This way, all materials will now be linked to the newly created composite map. If you now change the color of the color map, you can already see the results in the viewport. In this case, I will add a little bit of red to her shirt. After the render is finished, you can clearly see the results. As you can see, her shirt is now red. With this method, you can change every part of the model with all of the different masks which come with our models to create a completely new look. If you want to add a little more brightness to darker areas like a trousers, it is useful to change the blend mode to soft light. This way you can brighten up her trousers and add a little bit of blue color to create a nice looking blue jeansy look. Also, this method is not limited to only one area of the model. If you want to change two or more parts of the model, you can also use a slightly different composite map. For changing multiple parts of the model, add a new composite map with enough layers for your material setups. Like before, the first layer only contains the base diffuse texture with no masks. In the additional layers, you can place all different masks and color maps you want to use. Adjust the blend modes and colors until you are happy with the result. As you can see, I changed the colors of her trousers, her shirt and even her shoes. This adds a whole new level of flexibility to our models. Create hundreds of different variations of the same model and quickly adjust the colors of your Render People models to make them fit perfectly in your 3D scene. Thank you very much for watching our small tutorial on how to adjust the colors of Render People models in 3ds Max.